folks, I'm uber excited to share this news, this new AI feature with you. But before I tell you about it, a special shout out to our friend Mike Gonzalez at the Central Office Technology Department, who turned this feature on in Google Classroom. What is this feature? Remember the panic, the frustration, the surrender to the fact that AI and ChatGPT have opened up the floodgates to cheating? Students brand new to the English language would turn in erudite, prosaic assignments that would confound even the most professional writers among us. But now, they need to put brakes on their artificial creativity. Google Classroom now has a brand new feature in the Create Assignment page that allows the teachers to force students to run their own submissions through Google's plagiarism checker or originality checker up to three times before submitting it to the teacher. After that, the teachers can also run their own originality reports for each submission. How wonderful is that? This should allay our fears of AI takeover, at least for the time being. Now, let me show you how this actually works in Google Classroom. So here I have my Google Classroom homepage. So I'll pick up any one of these classrooms. For example, I, I, if I pick up this Google Classroom, and here I have some of these assignments. The first thing I'll do, I'll go to Classwork page. This is where I'll see my existing assignments as well as where I can create new assignments. So for example, if I pick up any existing assignment here, this is an assignment on photosynthesis. So I would just hover my cursor over on this assignment. If I don't hover this over, I don't see the three dots here on the right side. If you look at on the right side, you'll see that I don't have those three dots over here unless I hover over my cursor on this assignment. So once I hover over this assignment, hover the cursor over the assignment, I'll click on these three dots and I get you know these three options here. I get edit, delete, and coupling. So what I'll do, I'll click on edit. This is edit, and this is where I see the entire assignment. This is how the details of the assignments and any attachments to, to this assignment. And on this side, I have the assignment assigned to all students. Naturally, there's a due date on this because this is an existing assignment and there's a topic. If there's a topic, I can create a topic or I can use an existing topic. For example, let's do this as a test, as a topic here. And the grading categories, if there's a grading category here, here, this is a quiz. So uh, that has been selected. And if you need to sync it with your student information system, you can do over here on this side. And now at the bottom here, if you look at that, here is a check or unchecked plagiarism originality. This is Google's magic. This is where this thing, this thing happens. So I will check this off. And once I've checked this off, now I have to, on this side, this is very important. You can't leave this page without clicking on the right side, the top right here, save. So I'm gonna click on save. And now this is saving that assignment. That assignment has been saved on this page. And now if you see this, that now, this will force the students to run their own submissions through Google's originality checker before sending their assignments to you. Also, this is for an existing assignment, but it's the same process if I create a new assignment. So let's say on this side, I'll go here, I'll go and click on create new assignment. I have all of these options. So I'll click on, let's say assignment here. I'll click on an assignment that is assigned to all students. And I'm gonna give it a title here. So let's say if I give it a title as test, and instructions could also be run your assignment through the Google's originality checker before submitting your assignment. But here, if you look at that, if you need to make any attachments to this, all of these options, that this go here, and then the due date, I will definitely put in a due date here for all assignments. Let's say if I put in hypothetically, I would put in as October the 4th as, an, uh, as a due date, then click outside of this, choose a topic. I'm gonna create a topic here. If there's no topic, I can create a topic. So for example, if I create a topic as a quiz, 
So and a, a topic has been created and the grading and then the category here. So let's call it a quiz as a category. And then if there is a grading period, marking period, whatever it is, and if you need to attach a rubric here, this will be the rubric will come over here on this side. And at the bottom, you'll see this check plagiarism. So I'll need to check this off. Now you must be thinking, first I showed you when I was showing you editing an assignment, I showed you all of these things, check plagiarism on the right side. Now why is on the left side? Just because I have magnified my page. So if I just unmagnify my page, this thing comes on the right side. So if I magnify it by pressing Control plus plus, this thing will go on the left side because now the, the text on the page is pretty big. So it is in this case, if you notice that, now there's no saving the page on this side. Here you what you have is a sign because there's no, we are not editing it. We are creating a new assignment. That's why you see the blue button that says assign. So I'm going to assign and this assignment has been assigned to all of your students. So let's go back to the original size of the assignment and now you'll see this assignment uh, as an assignment that has been added to the list of assignments on this page and this is where it will now be shared with the students and they will be forced to run their assignments through Google's originality checker. So how cool is that? That is the power of artificial intelligence. That's the power of holding students accountable for all their submissions. So this is the new feature in Google Classroom. Use it and share your opinion and share your experience with this new feature. Until the next video, bye-bye.